This is our evidence, our ghost adventures. The City of Saints, as they call it, Los Santos is home to Vinewood, where it is said to be the entertainment capital of the world. However, with the air being so thick with hope and dreams of making it big in this town, sometimes one's hopes and dreams can lead to his or her own demise. One woman in particular named Jolene Evans succumbed to this fate. It is said that on the night of March 14, 1978, her husband Jock Cranley purposely pushed Jolene off of Mount Gordo. Some say Jock did it on purpose because Jolene didn't believe in his dream of becoming a Vinewood stuntman. Others say it was just an accident. Nonetheless, her husband still was never found guilty of this act. However, if it is true that he indeed pushed her off the cliff, then there might be some residual energy still present in the area where Jolene Evans was murdered. With Mount Gordo only being five miles north of Los Santos, I headed out to the area to see if any of the locals had experienced anything paranormal around the cliffs. I am here to investigate Mount Gordo. Can you tell me a little bit about why people are saying this place is haunted? Is it true that a lady fell off the cliff here? Yeah, that, that is true. Her name was Jolene Evans Cranley, and she was born and raised in Sandy Shores. She was married to a man named Jock Cranley, who was rumored to have pushed her off the cliff on the night of March 14, 1978. Are there stories of people seeing the spirit of Jolene Evans around Mount Gordo? Absolutely. Uh, people claim to see a woman in a white dress standing near the cliffs and even jumping off at times. Others have mentioned seeing her walking around the paths late at night too. So you've actually had an experience with the paranormal around here, is that correct? Yes, uh, yes it is, and uh, to this day, I'm still paranoid to be around here. So, what exactly happened? It was a clear night and I had just finished up hiking alongside the Mount Gordo Cliffs. And uh, I was camping right around this area when out of nowhere, I could, I could start to hear footsteps around my tent. What makes you sure that it wasn't some sort of animal? Well, that's the thing. I, I could see a shadow of a human being through my tent. Thinking I was getting robbed, I, I opened up my tent and nobody was there. Do you believe that this is the spirit of Jolene Evans that is rumored to haunt this very mountain? I, uh, I believe so. <laughs> Alright, it is time to start the investigation. I've set up two X cams, one in the area where Jolene was supposedly pushed off the cliff, and the second X cam in the area where a hiker experienced paranormal activity. As I hike up this trail, I'm going to be on the lookout for anything out of the ordinary. I was told earlier that Jolene has been spotted around here.
know for a fact that was not me. What makes this strange is that this wasn't the first time I heard footsteps behind me. Could this be Jolene trying to get my attention? It is midnight, we've reached the cliffs where it is said to be where Jolene Evans was pushed off of. We're going to attempt to do a spirit box session to see if we can get in contact with Jolene Evans and find out the truth. What happened on the night of March 14, 1978? For about 20 minutes, I get no responses from the spirit box until I ask this one question. Were you pushed off this cliff? What makes this cliff so strange is that the faint scream I heard did not come from the spirit box. It actually was picked up by my camera's audio. After capturing what appeared to be a scream, I decided to stay around the cliffs and see if I could get any more footage. <laughs> what the f was that? If you look closely, you can see that I record what looks to be an apparition near the edge of the cliff. This evidence alone helps validate the other reports of Jolene being seen near the cliffs in Mount Gordo. With daylight approaching, the question still remains if the cliffs in Mount Gordo is haunted by the spirit of Jolene Evans or not. With the evidence that I collected over the night, I can safely say that Jolene Evans is in fact still roaming the cliffs of Mount Gordo.